Hello guys and welcome to AI Sciences once again. Today we are going to build a graphical user interface for a message cryptography app which means we are going to encrypt and then later on we are going to decrypt our, our messages but in, not in a boring way. We are going to build graphical user interface for that and it will be really an easy thing to do. So first of all we'll be, we'll be uh, seeing how can we install an install and we'll be looking upon the link of documentation of teak interlibrary that we are going to use then we'll build some GUI and then finally we'll do some encryption and decryption right so let's jump on towards the work we want to do by the way if you have no idea about encryption decryption please check out this video on our channel of AI Sciences. In this video I have used library of cryptography and I have explained cryptography in you know um, a lot of details. Right and here is the link to Teak interlibrary that we'll be using for graphical user interface. Um, uh, so rather than spending time on documentation, reading documentation of Teak inter, let's straight jump on towards the implementation and let's learn these things over here. So first of all I'm importing Teak inter over here for again graphical user interface then I'm importing random over here. Uh, I'll explain it, explain it later why I'm importing random, random over here. Obviously, it provides us random random numbers or ability to pre produce some some ran random numbers or floats or whatever we want, and then we are importing base forty two uh, base sixty four library that will help us encrypting and decrypting uh, our messages, right? So, okay, first thing first, let's create a root for our our tk enter app tk, and then parenthesis. Remember, this t is in capital and k is in small letters, right? All right, so then we'll set its geometry. We'll say geo. Uh, how can we how can we get auto correction over here? Okay, we'll say root dot. Mm -hmm. No, it is not giving us auto correction. However, so geometry. Okay, uh, and in this, I'm going to pass the the resolutions, which will be let's say 1200 times let's say um, 6000 right and then I'm, I'm setting up the title how can I do that I'll say root dot title by the way by the way uh, let me tell you we are going to build sort this kind of graphical user interface so this is the root window right and then we have a title over here then we have a banner over here then we have some labels message key mode and then we have input fields over here right and then a result result label and result field over here we also have three buttons on our app which is show message reset and exit button that are obviously self self explanatory so i don't have to explain it here right so right now we are building this this whole um, you can say whole window right so what is the title of this window um let's say um message in encryption right let's call it n e n c yeah encryption um and decryption as well obviously and decryption right the next thing is um we have to uh, define the tops which is uh, you can say a frame and it will be starting from root its width would be let's say um, let's say 1600 and relief relief yeah, relief equals to c u n k e n now these are um, you know styles that are available in, inside the library of tkinter you can further explore it uh, this relief actually it does nothing it just provides this sort of edgy um, you know a field with 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 edges right nothing else you you can play around with it you can use groove as well that we have uh, we have used in um, this video right you can you can play around with it okay so then we'll say tops dot back and we'll say side is top we are going to pack it on the top and then we'll say f1 equals to frame and 
it will it will start from the root and its width would be let's say 800 right and then again it's relief equals to sunken right great and yeah one more thing we have to mention that how we want to pack it so we'll say side equals to left great looks fine let's run it to make sure there is no error but yeah there is error so it says that top is not defined yeah it's right it is in the capitals great 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 fine okay so the next thing is we'll say label equals to let, let's call it label info this should be equals to label and it would be start from the top right so so now we are going to create create these labels right okay so how can we do that so how can we do that we we only have to uh, we only have to uh, produce this label right and then we only have to you know uh, set its dimension so first thing first let's produce it it will infer from the top and its font would be um, let's say whatever um, let's make it robot let's make it robot right and its font size would be 40 and it will be bold right then um, the next thing is we want to mention the text over here which is my custom cryptography app right so this would be the label and then uh, let's mention the foreground color over here which would be in our case let's make it black right and then BD equals to let's say 10 and finally anchor equals to W right fine looks looks great and let's say LBL label info dot since we have created a grid now so we'll say it would be at row 0 and it would be at oh no it would be at column also 0 right looks fine let's run it and we all again have an error again that's oh it says that to, yeah it's not top it's tops great so now our, our this label is created right we are done with this thing we are done with this thing as well obviously we are not populating it with exact same text but it is going to be almost the same thing okay so the next thing is we are going to initialize our variables so those variables in which we are collecting values from these fields right so we are going to initialize those variables now so let's say message equals to string variable right let me copy this okay and then key equals to mm, yeah just to be consistent string variable then mode equals to string variable and then finally um, result equals to again string variable okay great now let's uh, let's run it great looks fine now let's uh, let's move on towards towards this this stuff uh, making fi making labels and then la making fields so I'll, I'll only be making these these two labels right and then I'll just be copying and pasting them to to just save our time so I'll say label message right so it will be label so it will reside inside f1 that we have created somewhere over here right it will reside in frame f1 and then its font would be so it, its font would be area its size would be 16 and it will be bold right and then its text very um, so how can variable I think that's how we write it so um, it will pass its values into 
the message variable right okay so its text variable is message it's BD let's make it 10 and then let's say insert width equals to so how how wide it this field should be it should be four and then um, let's say background color is uh, let's make it powder blue I don't know what color it is but let's let's do that and then just defy equals to right right and then finally we'll say we'll say label message equals to now we want to uh, mention that where we want we want to see this uh, this label so it should be at row one column zero right so so this is obviously column zero this whole thing is column zero right and this is the row one right as this was the row zero okay and then there will be row two this one and so on right okay so yeah looks fine um let me let me see okay so we have an error it says that unknown option insert width mm -hmm -hmm. let's see where it is where it is here it is insert width looks fine oh we have made a, a huge blunder over here actually I, I confused this label with this text box so I wrote the properties of text box in inside of label so this should not uh, be like this so let me uh, okay so let me just copy this thing so that I can use it later okay right now just forget it and let's let's just correct these mistakes okay so here what we need is uh, first of all uh, th th uh, there is no variable called there is nothing called text variable so it should be text since we want to show text over here so text would be message and then let, let's make BD equals to 16 and anchor equals to W right and that's it that's it we don't have to write a lot of code for it so this was the label for for the message and now we want to work for the text uh, in which we want to collect the text so let me call it text message right so text message and it will not be a label it will be an entry right and then it will again infer from f1 font would be the same text va text variable is msg bold 10 everything everything looks fine yeah we we just have to adjust its uh, um, its location so we'll say grid and in grid we'll say row equals to one column equals to again one so it will be in row one and also the column one right so yeah looks fine let's run it yeah no error okay now um, in order to create remaining these two um, actually these three uh, fields I'll just copy and paste these things right so here uh, it will be previously it was label message and now it will be lab, lab, uh, it will be label key right let me copy this so this is label key and this is a uh, text key and this is text key okay so let's come back over here let's say um, so its text would be uh, its text would be key and rest of the thing is same its location will be row number two for now okay and then if we go over here its text variable would be key right so let me see yeah this one key so I'll say key -Y, key and then rest of the thing is fine let's just change its location and let's make it at row number two great looks fine and then let's copy this and paste it over here and let's uh, let's make it mode label mode okay what 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 does mode do um, and let's let's clear this um, ink first 
okay so what does more do uh, if you type e over here it will encrypt the message right if you type d over here it will decrypt the message so this is what we mean by mode okay so okay so here we'll say mode here we'll again say mode and here we'll say mode and finally it will be text mode okay label is fine it will infer from f1 font is also fine so its text would be mode and inside we'll say um we'll say e for encryption and d for decryption right and rest of the thing looks fine and it will be at row 3 and if we talk about the text mode it will be its variable will be mode uh, let me see if it is in lowercase yeah it is in lowercase and its row would be again 3 column 1 looks fine looks great okay and finally we are going to create a label for um, for result as well right um, this result thing I'm talking about right okay so we'll say label result let me copy that let me paste it over here yeah it's a lot of copy paste work um, but this copy paste work saves us saves us a lot of time okay so label result will infer from f1 obviously and its text would be let's say result rest of the thing is fine it will be at row number two and but column number three right so it will be at next column and same goes out for for its uh, text uh, only its text variable will be will be changed and it will be made what it was it, its result so it will be R E S U L T result and then its location will also be changed it will be at row two and column three right um, actually this label will be at column two and this this uh, field at will be at column three right looks fine let's run it no error awesome great okay so I think we have spent a lot of time on on graphical user interface only these three buttons are left that we will be creating at the end right now let's spend a little bit time on um, encoding and, and decoding right so we'll say define and code okay so in in this encode function we'll be receiving a key and a message okay here we'll say encryption and uh, we'll in initialize it with an ambitai list we'll say i in range length of message right okay so inside the loop what we'll we'll do is we'll say key underscore c and we'll say key okay and then we'll say we'll use a list comprehension over here we'll say i modulus length of key remember we are using the cipher method for encryption and decryption right so we'll say encryption underscore c or inc underscore c we'll say character and here we'll say first of all um we'll say order message i right plus order rt key c and then what we are going to do is we are going to um take modulus with 256 right and finally what we'll say we'll do is encryption dot append this this whole you know encryption is almost done we'll say inc underscore c that is created over here right and then we'll finally return base 64 that we imported in the beginning and then we'll say url save base b64 encode right since we are encoding it so here we'll say 
we we have a list we want to convert it into string so we'll say join encode dot encode and then finally we'll say oh sorry we'll say decode awesome great so this is how we'll we'll do our encoding and our decode function will be um quite similar uh, but it will it will be sort of a reverse process so it will receive a key and it will receive an encrypted message right okay uh, obviously uh, encode method will receive key and a, a simple message and decode function will receive key and an in encrypted message in order to decrypt it so we'll say again decrypt equals to ambitai list and then first of all we will we will uh, we will decode it so we'll say encrypt uh, let's say base 64 dot url save um yeah we want to decode it and in this we'll pass encrypted and then we'll say decode right right so here we'll say for i in range length of encrypted right and here we'll say key underscore c key okay i modulus length of key and then we'll say decrypt underscore c equals to yeah it, it will be it will be almost a similar process that we did uh, before but in it will be in a in a reverse order so we'll say character okay and inside this we'll say 256 which is a magic number and then plus ORD and then we'll say ENC of I right and then we are going to um, minus it and then we'll say ORD then we'll say key underscore C and yeah we are we are done just one thing is left that we have to take modulus it of it with 256 great it looks fine and here what we will do is we'll say decrypt dot append and we'll append decrypt underscore C over here and finally we'll, we'll say return ambitized string dot join and here in this we'll pass this decrypted st string right uh, yeah decrypted list that will be converted into string great awesome looks fine looks easy now let's um, create the the UI for for the buttons and then we'll see how can we um, how can we create their backend function so let's run it looks like there is no error as well so here we'll say button we'll create just one button and then we'll we'll copy paste it just like before okay so here we'll say okay we'll say button and here we'll say f1 and then it's pad padding at x-axis would be let's say 16 padding at y-axis would be um let, let's make it 8 it's BD I mean these all are the stylings that you you can play around with it so BD would be 16 its foreground would be black you can make it purple as well if you want um, then we'll say its font would be let me copy font from here okay so let's paste it over here so font would be Arial 16 and bold its width would be let's say 10 it's um, so the text that it will show will be let's say show message so whenever you will click this button it will show the message right and then we'll say background equals to um, again powder blue right and the most important thing is command so here we will pass the function name so 
result results right so this will be the function name that will be called whenever uh, this button will be clicked yes you're right this function is not created yet so let's create this function over here right so let's say define results and let's say pass let we'll write its definition later and then I'll say dot CRID grid and it will be at row equals to seven we are doing it in the same line previously we were doing it uh, in different line so now I hope you you guys have got the idea so let's try to do it in one line so this will create the show message button which is this one now let's create the reset button okay so whenever you will click the reset button it will uh, it will you know reset all of you all of the options so let's call it reset okay so it will start from f1 um, options would be roughly the same 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 so its text would be to show reset and it, it its command would be again reset and again this function is not created so let's create define reset then pass it for now okay great one last thing one last button that we are we want to create is exit button right so button exit okay all the thing is same 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 its text would be exit and its command would be again exit so whenever this function oh we also have to change the 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 column over here so it will be the column number two it will be at column number um, three right so it, it will call the exit function so let's make let's define exit function over here right right okay now let's write definitions for for all the functions that we have we have created over here so let's do it for result first so result in result we will get the message how we'll get the message we'll say msg dot get now what is this SM, uh, msg remember M <clears throat> msg is the variable that we created over here and it will be getting value in this text box over here right so if we'll say msg dot get it will get the value whatever will be inside this text box right and then we'll say k or key k stands for key so we'll say key dot get so it will get us the key that will be over here and then we need mode so we'll say m equals to mod dot get great looks cool it will get us whatever will be over here it will be either e or d right and then we'll say if m equal equals to e or mode equal equals to e then what you have to do is you have to um, call results dot set so remember results is, is is this thing you can call it result as well um, so uh, results dot set in this we'll call encode function yeah encode and in encode we'll pass k which is key and we'll also pass the message that we have extracted over here right and else otherwise what we have to do is we have to um, do almost the same thing but uh, it will be not encode it will be decode function will be called it, it will pa we will pass the message and we'll pass the key as well right yeah that's it and if we will um, we will click on um, on exit method it, it it's just a one line function which is root dot destroy that's it and if we will click on reset um, uh, reset button again it's also very simple all we have to do is we have to say oh we have to say something like this okay we don't have to get anything we have to sorry we have to set it equals to empty 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 that's it that's it so yeah we are done we are done um, let's make a let's call the final loop 
for that will um, that will automatically call these functions so uh, let's say root dot main loop and that's it now if everything is fine in our code it should work fine so let's run this cell first then let's run this cell and finally this one so is there any UI yeah there is a UI let's see if it is working fine you can see that the custom message is my custom cryptography app is displayed over here so here we'll, we'll write a message so let's say um, this is a message so let's say this is my message right that I want to this is the top secret message that that I want to send to my friend right and then I'm creating um, I'm creating a key let's say one two three four five which is a very difficult and top secret key right and I'm going to um, send it to my friend or I'm going, going to tell it to my friend by, by physically right so yeah and I want to encrypt this message so I'll type in E over here right so let's click on show message and it is doing nothing which means there is some error so let's quit it and here you can see that we are we have some logs over here so let's debug it so one mistake that I have identified is it's not results it is result that we have it over 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 where over here and it is with not capital R it is with small r so let's make it result result so let's restart our kernel just to make sure there is nothing going on behind the scenes and then let's run all the cells over here right so let's see uh, if it is working now so I am good right and then my code would be one two three and it, it, we are going to, to encrypt it awesome so this is my encrypted message if uh, let's say any listener or any any hacker would would get this message I'm sure <clears throat> I'm sure that hacker or listener will never be able to uh, decrypt it unless he has this key right so let's reset it now you have this message you send this message to your friend now you are player B or now you are let's say you are pre pretended to be your friend so you will paste this message over here now you know the secret key which is one two three and you are going to decrypt this message so let's type D over here and here we'll say show message and it will make it equal to I am good right and what if uh, what if I pass a wrong key over here I, I type the message over here, decrypted message over here let's say I pass the wrong key over here and then I want to decrypt it so it will decrypt it into something like this so and if I click on exit button it will exit my window so yeah looks looks great this is what we want we wanted to create and this is what we have created awesome so yeah we have we are we are AI, AI sciences if you are a beginner in artificial intelligence domain please uh, check out the link in the description uh, you you can you can visit our website in which we have uploaded a lot of courses and books and blogs for for AI lovers so thank you very much <laughs>